Hello and welcome back to another video. Another week has gone by. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work this week, but there's been a really exciting development. This is going to be a quick video to show off what's happened in this week and the great thing that I now have. It's a new helper for the channel and it's going to hopefully allow me to progress hugely, hugely, hugely through all of my projects coming up and it's going to be a huge help with what I do and I've been using and uh, the help so far from it and doing little bits anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to a little video introducing my new helper. That's right, I got a 3D printer, which is just amazing. It will help me do some dumb projects, some fun projects, all sorts of things. I've already printed a couple of things off, like I printed off this, which is a lifestyle replica of a Kylo Ren lightsaber. Uh, just a small thing, well, small. That's the thing I found, it comes into parts, like you can pull it apart and slap it together, but it came off of uh, my mini factory, just a website where you can find 3D design stuff to be print off. But um, yeah, so it's a Ender 3 Pro by Creality, and it's super cool. I'm absolutely loving it right now. I got some black filament for it, and I've started printing off some accessories for it to make it a bit easier. Um, I printed off this little cover cap, and then I also printed off this little spool wire thread PLA holder thing it sort of goes out and then goes back in at a better angle so yeah i printed off a couple of things i did set a print off last night for a tool holder to go on top of the power supply but i made a mistake i'll freely admit i can make a mistake on occasion um i forgot to tell it to print supports so what supports are are just uh, small strands of the um the plastic that will basically hold up sections so in this example for if i was printing it as a whole thing there, there would be supports going up here to be able to allow you to print this uh, lip, for example. So there were no supports printing, so I left it running for about two hours before going to sleep, at which point 
from what I can remember, the bit that was successful was the bit I saw before going to sleep, which is annoying, because if I had probably waited another 10 minutes, I would have seen it failing and I could have stopped it. So, a little bit of PLO wasted, not a huge amount of uh, loss though, so it's, uh, I'll reprint it at some point and I'll show that off. But yeah, so this is my new helping hand. So I've got this 3D printer, it was kindly bought for me, uh, not purchased by myself, and I thank very much the person that bought it for me. Uh, this is technically a sponsored video for that reason, because I didn't buy it, and I was bought it, so thank you very much, my sponsor. Um, and yeah, so, I've done a couple things already, what I'll be doing next episode will be showing you my 3D design process. I know everyone does things a little bit differently, but what I'll do is I'll screen record me producing some pieces on a CAD software. I'm unsure which one I'm going to use yet. I'm used to using SolidWorks through my uni account, but I will eventually have to move to another 3D design software, and I think I might make that move sooner. So I might spend the next week sort of trying that and testing that. But yeah, so I've got that going. So I'll be printing a housing next episode. Uh, I just wanted to sort of show you the printer and I will leave a link for the printer in the description just in case anyone is curious about it and wants to look up a bit more. But uh, it's super fascinating to have again. I've had one previously, I had an M3D, but this one is much higher quality and it can allow me to do a lot more. And I do plan to do a series where I actually improve it slowly with like little upgrades. So like the bits that I've already printed off are such minor things. What I want to do is I want to produce a housing for it and stuff. So that'll be something that we will be doing in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very short one. It's probably going to be like six minutes. I don't know fully yet. I can see that this clip is about three, four minutes uh, ish. Um, and then I've got the little montage that hopefully went really well. But um, if you want, choose a video, subscribe, give it a thing. Maybe we'll print more of these and I can, I'll give one away at some point. If a giveaway is even a thing that I do at this size of channel, if you want one of these, I can sort things out. Anyway, enjoy.